The Contessa's giant attack robot. Look, Bentley, with all due respect, it looks an awful lot like a water tower. Don't be fooled. That's what she wants you to think. If we try to free Murray while that thing is operational, why... What, we'll have plenty of fresh drinking water? I'm serious, Sly. Of course. I do owe you one. The lightning rods around the prison are designed to draw lightning strikes away from the water tower. A giant attack robot. Uh-huh, yeah. By turning the wheels on the rod, you should be able to redirect the electrical current away from its ground wire, rendering it useless. Follow the lightning strikes to locate all five rods. Okay, so you want me to break the ground circuit on all these lightning rods so that a bolt will strike and destroy the giant attack robot posing as a water tower. That's an accurate summation. <laughs> Get clear when the lightning rod starts to glow red. That means the lightning will do nice work. That lightning rod is out of commission. Look around for lightning strikes to find the other rods.
like I said. Giant attack robot! <laughs> Tessa's encryption algorithm. I'd love to, pal, but I have no idea what you're talking about. All right, I'll explain it to you one piece at a time. See that security station? The guard nearby is responsible for its upkeep. I'm with you. First, I'll need you to pickpocket his key to the terminal. Sure, no problem. Then use it on the security station to set off the alarm. Hold up. You want me to set off the alarm? Yeah, set it off. Then clear out as the guard's sure to come running. Once he sees that it's a false alarm, he'll input the code to turn it off. So you want me to take a picture of the code? Move to a safe place and get a clean shot of that digital readout. Should I hit all the security stations out here? That's right. Once I've got a large enough sample of the Contessa's codes, I should be able to crack her encryption algorithm. Uh, now, see, you lost me again. Just take the pictures. I'll handle the rest. <laughs> Oh, 
Okay, now climb to a good spot where you'll be able to get a picture of the security code on the monitor.
Okay, that should be enough codes. Nice work, partner. <laughs> Thanks to your recent efforts, we're ready to attempt a Murray rescue. I call this plan the Trojan Tank. Step one, we use the Contessa's keys to steal one of her tanks. I'll jump in and drive while you keep out of sight by crawling underneath. With some luck, the guards won't notice anything out of the ordinary and open the prison gates for us. We casually roll in, and then blast the security doors to Murray's cell block. Once inside, you'll need to improvise your way up to the guard control center and open the doors leading down to solitary confinement. Let's hope Murray hasn't cracked under the Contessa's hypnosis. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, Sly, I'm heading out for the tank. Okay, Bentley, what's next? Well, that should be the guard's control center. But to be honest, I'm not sure how you're going to get up there. Don't worry about it. Thinking of my feet is what I do best. Most of the security went down when we cut the power on the bridge, but a few lights seem to have a backup generator. Be careful.
Okay, I'm running your algorithmic code decryptor. Do you see anything happening down there? Success! We've got access to solitary confinement. Hot stuff. I'm heading down. bad. I've never seen Murray like this. He's all twitchy and bug-eyed. You said Murray was being forced to eat spice, right? Yeah, he said he was feeling weird. Well, he's weirded out all right. I doubt he even knows we're here. Clearly, we're going to have to lure him out of that cell the hard way. The hard way? Those hypno boxes are designed to heighten the effects of spice, and he's already in an agitated state. So if we turn them all on at the same time, Murray's sure to become wildly hostile and probably break down the door. How do we turn on the hypno boxes? The power switches are all defended by laser barriers. When you get close, I'll hack the laser system from my terminal down here. That should give you access. Let's do it. Anything to help out old Murray. He's looking really bad. in the laser barrier. to turn on the hypno box. What's that sound? Angry. Get gone. care of the laser wall.
clear. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Tip me over and I'll smash up everything! Ah! <laughs> I'm on it. Heaven? Sorry, pal. You're no angel. Just take a few deep breaths and try to center your thoughts. Okay. What's with all the racket? My conscious mind is a wreck. I ought to... The weak-minded hippo is free! And he's got friends! Hmm. Perhaps it's time to reevaluate some life choices. I'm serious. I managed to keep this half of the clockwork heart safe. It was hard to hide from the con- Oh, Contessa! She's getting away! Murray, lift those crank bars so we can chase after her. I'm on it! such progress during our sessions. 
The only mental help that I need is to never be reminded of you again. Such displaced hostility. If you insist on getting angry, why not be psychologically productive and channel it at your so-called friends? I'm done talking with my mouth. Now I talk with my fists. Sorry, but our time is up. <laughs> Pal, we'll find her. With the three of us back together, she doesn't stand a chance. It was great! The gang had been reunited and it was all because of me! Even the van ride out of town was like a party! Murray had to pull over twice because he was laughing so hard. But despite all the jokes, I think something had changed. Since childhood, the three of us had never been apart. And our recent isolation gave us all pause for thought. Needless to say, we took a few weeks off before getting back to work. And for the first time in my life, Murray, let me drive. Time for a little payback. The Contessa, having escaped us in the prison, is now hiding out in her castle estate. It's a well-fortified, gothic nightmare that would make any thief run in terror. Terrible or not, that's where we're headed. To sweeten the deal, we've learned that the Contessa, who until recently was a secret member of the Claw Gang, is in possession of the Clockwork Eyes. The Thievius Raccoonus describes the eyes stopping opponents dead in their tracks, transfixed in their gaze. It doesn't take a genius to figure out what an accomplished hypnotist could do with such powerful artifacts. News of the Contessa's corruption has spread to Interpol. Constable Neela, being closest to the case, was granted a cash allowance to hire an army of local mercenaries. It looks like we're walking into a full-scale war. But we have to act now, before things go from bad to worse. Looks pleasant enough. Oh, and stay clear of tanks. You know, so you don't get blown up into little sticky pieces. <laughs> Oh, 
Neela's made a headquarters out of that old bank. It's a pretty secure location. It'll take some doing to drive her out. The Contessa has these boats out on patrol against Neela's army. They could be useful to hitch a ride. Bentley, there's more than just the clockwork eyes up here. Why are you doing this? Neela! She set me up. I'm an honest cop. Of course you are. I've read your psychological profile. I know that you're honest. Then why are you doing this to me? Because, dear, you're honest. You see, by chasing after Sly Cooper, you learned too much about the Claw Gang and its spice operation. It was only a matter of time before you figured out that I was a secret member. So, when Neela gave me a chance to put you in custody, I took it. Coward! You're a disgrace to Interpol! I'll make it my life's work to destroy you! Oh, I'm afraid your life, let alone your life's work, isn't going to last much longer. Once I integrate the clockwork eyes into this device, your life's work will be whatever I tell you. I won't be brainwashed that easily. Quite right. It won't be easy. Or painless. But I will reprogram your mind, and you will take the fall for me at Interpol. Now, just lay back and relax. Go to your happy place. And stay there forever. I don't think they've seen you. Take a few photos and get out of there. No. I've got to help Carmelita. She's in trouble here. There's nothing you can do now. Get the recon photos and come back to the safe house. I swear, we'll find a way to help her. Interesting. Inspector Fox is restrained in an old Iron Tech 250. Crude, but effective. The clockwork eyes. They seem to be routed through that control board. Get a shot of the console, so I can decipher its make. Those are the Contessa's elite shadow guard. Tough is too sissy a word to describe those guys. 
That's... That's a mind shuffler. I didn't think they were real. It's made of equal parts science and black magic. Indestructible to conventional weapons. <laughs> That old terminal should be hardwired to the systems in this tower. We need to find a way to get it online. All right, head back to the safe house and we'll get a plan together. <laughs> The war between Neela and the Contessa has put the castle on high alert. To get at the clockwork eyes, we'll need to subtly manipulate this conflict to our advantage. Here's the plan. Murray, sneak into the castle and kidnap the head of security. I want to ask him a few questions. Meanwhile, Sly and I are going to get a little paranormal. I'll slip into the crypts beneath the castle and put together a bad mojo bomb. It should be enough to destroy the mind shuffler. Slot, you capture a few local ghosts and drop them into Neela's headquarters. Hopefully the near-death experience will inspire her to purchase more mercenary firepower. We've all got our assignments. Good luck. <laughs> 